In the middle of the desert, miles outside of Las Vegas, what happens in this tube could change how we travel. Imagine traveling between cities hundreds of miles apart in a matter of minutes instead of hours in a tube like this. But is this just a pipe dream? Virgin Hyperloop One says not only are they close to reality, they're closer to doing it than you might think. And they hope this third of a mile test track is the road to the future. For a lot of people, this seems like science fiction. It does, but it's science fact because you can see it right here. <laughs> Dr. Anita Sengupta leads the team in charge of making this technology come together. We've demonstrated out here in the desert in Las Vegas, which experiences very large temperature swings, over 100 degrees during the day, can get below freezing at night. Um, you were part of the team that helped land a rover on Mars? That's correct, yes. That, that's my training. I spent most of my career working at NASA. I'm used to working with vacuum chambers. I'm used to working with electromagnetic propulsion systems. Working on Hyperloop reminds her of working on space craft, traveling hundreds of miles per hour through a vacuum tube in a magnetically levitating pod. That pod is designed to fit 9 to 12 people. She thinks it will remind passengers of a plane, but better. You don't have the traditional um, sort of experiences that you have in aircraft. There's no such thing as like turbulence, right? Because you actually have no air around you, right, on the outside of the pod. So the ride is actually going to be a lot smoother. So you're not even going to be able to tell that you're going that fast. Their last speed test reached 240 miles per hour, only limited, she says, by the length of the track. At full speed, they want to see pods travel about 700 miles per hour. Faster than a commercial airplane. And ready for people to ride soon. How soon? So we, we would like to have them operational within the next two to three years. I think it's fair to say by, you know, 2023, we could have an operational Hyperloop. Right now, the company is working on feasibility studies in several states to see where they could build their first routes, like Colorado, Missouri, or from Chicago to Columbus and Pittsburgh, plus how they fit the terrain, staying above ground or tunneling below where needed. This would be a service that everyday people can use. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense to build it. Right here is where they stored the pod, but our cameras can't show you, protecting the company's designs. That's because the competition is on. Both Elon Musk and Hyperloop Transportation Technologies are working on their own Hyperloop plans. Is this like our generation's space race? Um, it is in a way, and I think we haven't had a new mode of transportation in over 100 years. And big questions still need answers. It's like, how much will this cost? And who will pay for it? Virgin Hyperloop One anticipates a public-private partnership. When it comes to infrastructure projects, you need to have a strong coalition of government, business community, and local community. Meantime, Dr. Sengupta and her team will keep working. This is high time to come up with a new mode of mass transportation. We are reinventing transportation and doing it out here in the desert. Leading the way to get Hyperloop up to speed.